What's going on, everyone? Welcome to another episode of Let's Talk Gaming. And like the tradition continues, in Let's Talk Gaming, we always have a guest. And today, we have another guest. And it is uh, Louis, Alexis, or however you want to call him. However. It's a little bit of everything. But um, you can check him out on Twitch. He goes by Chef McLovin with an E, right? McLovin with a U. With a U. Yeah. So with, a U. with a U. Yeah. McLovin with a U. With a U. So check him out on, on Twitch because he has some great gameplays, um, a lot of Spanish smack talk, which is hilarious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you want to laugh and you want to have a good time and everything, he's always very engaged with the with the comments and everybody uh, that's on it and watching him and everything. Check him out. We'll post the link down in down below in the description. But welcome to Let's Talk Gaming. Welcome to the episode. Thanks for having me. Of course. But let's talk, um, you know, let's start how we always started is what, right. what is it that, that you like uh, um, or what has, does gaming mean to you? What is, what is gaming. gaming for you? Um, so a few things. I think the most important thing is the fact that you can like hop in, get a controller and just like lose yourself in whatever world the game is. Um, you can challenge yourself. You can be more casual. You can play with friends. I think it's just the idea of like playing with people. Uh, the idea of like having some relax time some you time mm -hmm. and there's so many variety of games that oh, yeah. like there's something for everybody even if you're not a gaming you're gonna there's find something, something for yeah, everybody yeah. i agree and and i feel like you know between all three of us i think there's such such a variety of gaming yeah, yeah. That, that we all three of us have and everything yeah i feel like it, it just is, is great you know yeah and i like that point that you said that there is a game for everybody even if you're not a gamer because you know i've had a lot of friends that say they're not gamers but i show them certain games that i feel like they're like and that's exactly what yeah. happens they pick it up and they're like damn this is really fun or even one of nick's favorites is mobile gaming oh yeah, yeah. even if you're yeah. not a gamer uh, i'm pretty sure you can get sucked into a mobile game yeah even Easily. if i'm not on my console or even if i am on my console i'm playing with y'all i have like um uh, my Seven Deadly Sense yeah. or my Dragon Ball game always on in the background. Yeah, exactly. Like we're, we're playing Apex or something. And He's it's just the ultimate there. gamer playing yeah. two games at once. And I'm like, oh, wait a minute. And that's, and that's the beauty. That's the beauty of gaming, man. Like, it, and that's what I always love. And, and these conversations that we have uh, in Lester Gaming, it's what I love because it, it really brings out what, what gaming really does mean to us. I feel like that is one of the greatest things out there. Yeah, sure. But, but definitely. Um, so we always ask this to everybody because it, it, I'm very curious about it to everybody. What is your favorite game? Like, if you can pick one game, and it doesn't have to be like favorite, you know, story or whatever it is. What is one game that you can think of and you'll be like, "Damn, this is the game." What is that um, one game? It has to be, and I know a lot of people are gonna say, "What? Well, not that one. You should <laughs> pick the other one." Right. But for me, it's Metal Gear Solid Two. two. Not three. I know three is a superior nice. game. Yeah. But two. Snake Eater is really fun, but. You know what? I, I actually love two more than three. Yeah, so good. yeah. I actually so like good. two 100%. more than three. I agree. Snake Eater is incredible. Don't get me wrong. I, I'm not going to take it away from it. But two, I feel like... It, I don't know if it was because of the time that I played it. I feel like it was it was just right at the time, yeah, was, you know? It had everything you needed at that time. It did. It had... You thought you were going to play a snake because you get the first yeah. act and you're playing with snake and the, mm -hmm. and, the, and the ship. And it's amazing. But then... Flip side, you're playing at this new guy called Snake, but his name is yeah. Raiden, and yeah. <laughs> he's the total opposite. He's not a badass, but he's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. I liked it. I like that idea. That, and that's what's crazy. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we, we talk, we've talked about um, Kojima a lot of, mm. a lot of times. Yeah, very yeah. much so. Kojima what is guy. such a mastermind. He is such a genius on the way that he puts games yeah. and everything. We're not going to talk about, you know, Death Stranding, because Death Stranding, although it was more of a walking simulator... I'm not gonna take it away from like what the story behind Death yeah, yeah, Stranding was sure. because it was really good. Yeah, it's just the gameplay. You know, wasn't as as a Metal Gear yeah. obviously because that's what we're used to from Kojima. Mm -hmm. But we'll we'll see. Kojima has other other plans in store. We'll he, see does, what he does. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, no Metal Gear Two. I feel like incredible game so overall. Good. I have very good. vivid very vivid memories of that game. Mm -hmm. So it's yeah. funny that you say that. Yeah, I remember um, there was a, one battle where you're trying to save the girl and the vampire has her mm -hmm. and you're trying to snipe him. Oh, yes. I remember being like a little kid, had no business <laughs> playing that game. <laughs> Frustrated, throwing controllers around because I just couldn't <laughs> get it. Yeah. But you know, once you get it, you feel that, that you feel that greatness mm -hmm. inside of you. And I agree. It's so good. That, and that's what's funny. Like th that game, it felt like an accomplishment when you finish yes. it because it was so difficult. I guess it was because we were young at the time, yeah, but it was so difficult to beat that it was like, damn, what the hell? 
but when you finish it and you, when you pass certain bosses or anything like that you felt accomplished you yeah. felt like you did something yeah. you know? I sure. feel like that contributes to like the knowledge that we have now to get through games because we've used that experience oh, yeah. to the point where we are now so uh, like, 100%, we're like yeah. wait did we actually okay now let me try this yeah so, <laughs> exactly yeah. that's what it, it is it works yeah definitely but uh, Metal Gear yeah no I, I mean we've talked about our, our favorite games like mine Resident Evil of course mm. um, you have many but Smite yeah, of course Smite is, 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 Smite. That, is that Smite. one number one and, and it's funny that, that we mentioned Smite because we all actually play Smite together yes 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 he, he is a big Smite player which I you know I didn't really know until we mentioned Smite he's yeah. like Smite yeah. let yeah. me get in like, it was exactly <laughs> like that I remember you mentioned uh, oh there's a game called Smite I'm like what <laughs> Smite my Smite, Smite? <laughs> and then I found out that Nick was a big fan of Smite yeah. and he's like even better than me but it's amazing because <laughs> we got to <laughs> jump in it's just the community right Oh, it's like, it's and, awesome. that's, and that's what really brought us even to play more and everything uh which was great uh the the difference or l let's say the variety that we have in different games and everything yeah. it's amazing this is this is what i want mm -hmm. i have i have the three i have i get the three, three consoles and pc so now i can just take a dip in every and console. everything Man, whatever you're, whatever you're it is an it, overlord it, you're just i love it and that's, exactly, <laughs> <laughs> and that's exactly what we <laughs> talk about it's like you know if there's any games out there that you guys want us to try let us know because we oh, can try sure. we try everything literally everything and uh Ale alexi over here he literally plays whatever on twitch yeah which is amazing i, I remember yeah. when what was it resident evil 3 came out and we downloaded that and you were streaming it night one, i was night i one went on too that deep with nemesis that. on that i remember <laughs> It was, it was crazy. It was crazy. And then Ghost of Tsushima came of out, and that was an yeah, experience. The Samurai Boy. Oh man, that was it, that was just great. Yeah, yeah. But anyways, let's get into the topic of today, sure. which is uh, we're gonna actually talk about uh, a pretty interesting topic. It is gonna be video game characters, and okay. video game characters is a big topic overall. And it's funny that he mentioned uh, Metal Gear because Metal Gear has probably one of the biggest yeah. Metal uh, yeah. video game characters out there. But with video game characters. Let's let's talk about. I'll start with Nick. Let's talk about like what is that one video? Let's talk about favorite video game character. Who's your favorite video game character that you can? If you can pick one, that you can say, damn, like design wise, his attitude, his dialogue in the game, whatever. He's your favorite. What is that one oh, character damn. that you can pick? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna put it hard a, a little bit so there funny, because so I know funny. I know you have played a lot. So many, <laughs> but like the one that instantly stands out more like above everyone just because it is one of the most let me guess like, let me guess let me let me throw, throw a guess I, I might be wrong guess, guess. I, I might be wrong but is it Kratos oh actually <laughs> you know what's funny is I, I, wasn't think. Even, I wasn't even thinking about that who no. were you thinking of then I was thinking of Azura from Azura's Wrath oh, okay okay oh. alright yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah and we talked about that so, in our yeah, last episode just because last of the last fact that even. like that was I mean, I, I guess it prelude. It obviously preludes God of War. Yeah. So that's a completely different, and it kind of has the same feeling that God of War now has. Of course. But in the 360 game. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. I mean, I feel like just because he also has that like, just anime very esque art yeah. of being super angry. Yeah. And he's just only angry, he just and then as the game gets, he he <laughs> changes. He goes from oh, I'm, I'm I guess I'm angry to like <laughs> I guess I'm a dad now. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's it's Watch I guess you could say it's the God of War syndrome in a way. Mm -hmm. Um. But like the end, from the beginning of that game where I didn't really care about that guy to the end of the game, I was sad. Now you're, you're like all over that guy. Yeah. You're like, Damn, he's like, is... he's the coolest, bro. Yeah. Um, I'm mm -hmm. still waiting for him to enter a Capcom game as a fighter. Like, oh, like, yeah, that would be ass. amazing. That'd be sick. He just that like, ah, <laughs> just running yeah. around Holy six crap. arms. Why haven't they done that? Yeah. I he didn't even perfect. think about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah like, he homie has eight arms. He definitely fits perfect into like a Marvel vs. Capcom or something like that. Throw him in there. That'd be sick. That would be crazy. No, yeah. Azura. That or Kratos, bro. Yeah, yeah. Or Sam Fisher. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> but he happens. doesn't have like a developed character. Yeah, in yeah, not like Kratos or something like that. Not you know, I, I would say uh, Kratos has you know obviously a huge arc. Yeah, with yeah. everything that he's done and everything that he's gone through. Now he's a dad, of course. <laughs> so dad of boy. Yeah, and boy. <laughs> yeah. Boy. It's funny you mentioned that though. I I'd even. Nah, yeah, I, I would have to say that's a very hard tie between the two. Between easily. the two. No, yeah. I mean, and, and that's a great choice. Yeah. I, I I I would say like. Uh, personally, I, I would have a lot of characters on my top also, but I mean, let's hear from, from Lewis. What, what's your one character? What is the one character that you can pick from that you can say like development, storyline, yeah, yeah. dialogue, anything that you can think of, you say that's the character. It's hard because there's so many characters. Of he course. mentioned Sam Fisher. Yeah. I think he's a great character. Sam Fisher, of course. But I have to go with just 
naked snake, solid snake, all the snakes. <laughs> all the snakes. Yeah. The, just the fact that snake has like the dad, the son. Yes. Like, the fact that like you get so many people with the same DNA, with mm-hmm. the same, you know, everything. And they will have like little things that are similar, but at the same time, there's things that mm-hmm. set them apart. Like they're all, yeah, I exactly. love that. Uh, I love Metal Gear Solid 4, like the fact that he's old, yes. he's trying to like mm-hmm. compete with everybody, but he just can't, <laughs> or he's just going crazy. It's, it's that thing that will be my character. Like Phantom Pain. Pain. Oh yeah, yeah, Phantom Pain. What else? Even though... Hidden, hidden, amazing hidden, intro. Hidden gem, yeah. Hidden yeah, gem. yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, no, it's funny that you mentioned Snake, because I feel like Snake, it's, it's probably one of the most iconic characters out yeah. there. Yeah, yeah. And what a lot of people don't understand, I mean, of course, if you've played Metal Gear, then you understand what Metal Gear is about. But you, what you don't understand is the storyline behind mm-hmm. Snake overall. It's it's really interesting because there's a lot of backgrounds to Snake. Yes. And there's a lot of DNAs, like Lois said, that, you know, could mesh everybody together and whatnot. So I feel like Snake is a really interesting character. The fact that he's been in so many different games, including Smash Brothers, oh, yes. Yes. which is crazy. He's just, he's a, he's a monster. Brother. I feel like, yeah. yeah, I feel like Snake is it's one of the most iconic characters out there. Like, if you think about video game characters, he probably would be one of them. Yeah. I mean, he's just a cool. On. He yeah. hides in a box. Yeah, literally. There's people chasing after him with <laughs> I mean, ARs. Uh, he gets a box and that's it. <laughs> Nobody that's finds it. him. I mean, who does that? Who <laughs> does have you ever played Saints Row, I think it's three or four, there's a mission in, like, it's, I think it's four. There's like a side mission that you have where they're like, oh, it's a stealth game, and she, and then you're talking to this girl, and the girl's like, what do you mean the stealth game? It's like just, just play along, grab that box over there, and follow. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> you awesome. know, play half of the mission in the box. That's, That's funny. You so, see, and they're taking see, ideas yeah. from this great game. Metal Gear and this one guy influences a whole mission in the video game like 10, 15 years later. Of course, it's ridiculous. <laughs> That's amazing. amazing. But no, Metal Gear. I mean, Solid Snake, obviously, or Snake overall. It's a, it's a great pick. I mean, for me. Yeah, there's there's a lot. There's a lot of different characters because I've been playing for so many. Yeah, I've been playing. I've been playing for for a long time. It's a little, I have it's a one here, of course. Leon oh, Scott oh. Kennedy is probably my favorite Resident Evil character. Is he my favorite overall character? Um, you know, I'm gonna keep it old school, and I will say my all-time favorite video game character. It is Mario. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were gonna say Sonic. Mario is my all-time favorite yeah, character. Mario's... Even though I love Sonic, don't get me wrong, Sonic the Hedgehog probably is the close second. Uh, probably tie like you know Azura is to Kratos for you. Yeah. Uh, but Sonic and Mario, but Mario is just, I just have so many memories with with uh, Mario and Super Mario Brothers, all the different games, and to this day I can pick up any Mario game that comes out and, and have fun with it. Because yeah. Mario is such not only not only are the games fun, but he is such a fun character. He doesn't even talk or anything like that, but you can just have yeah. fun in the games and everything yeah. when you're playing with him. You know, I might be going a little old school, picking a really old character nah. and whatnot, but I mean, come on. Mario, it's just such a beautiful character and whatnot. I feel like it is the video game character when you think about video game it's characters. It's funny you say that because today, um, I was just thinking randomly about games. And I was thinking, what is the first game that I ever played? And I was mm-hmm. thinking, oh, maybe Double Dragon. And yeah. I was thinking of different games. But it all comes down to this, like, super crusty Nintendo that I had. And I had this <laughs> tape. I remember the tape of <laughs> Super Mario 2. Yes. And it was, I remember I used to ride on it with Crayola and all that stuff. I was a kid. <laughs> but I remember vaguely playing that game. And I yes. think that is my first video game experience, playing Super mm. Mario 2. You see, my first game was Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Mm. That was my first video game ever on the Sega Genesis. But after that, I went back to the older consoles like the NES and whatnot oh, yeah. to play all the old school games. And of course, Mario was one of the big ones back then. And I was like, you know what? Let me play some Mario. And I that is the one game that I can play nonstop. And to this day, a new one comes out and I'm there. They yeah, to play. Like- Mario. They're always a hit. I mean, what do you guys think? Tell us what your favorite video game character is. Uh, put it down in the comments and ev- in the comments and everything. And you know, let us know what you think. But let's get into another topic in video game characters is story driven. Which we talked about story driven games in our last let's talk gaming. But story driven games or story driven characters. Who do you feel like is a very well developed character overall in a story? And we, we don't have to talk about one game only. We can talk about, like, multiple games as a, as a story, you know, developing a character. Mm-hmm. Like, for me, I mean, I will pick, obviously, Resident Evil. Mm-hmm. Because in Resident Evil, I will pick uh, Chris Redfield. Because Chris Redfield was in the first Resident Evil uh, from the mansion, of course, chasing the, uh, the bad guy. Or going into the, the mansion uh, to find out what is going on. 
and then finding out there's a virus, finding out that one of them is a traitor with Albert Wesker and whatnot, and then going to Resident Evil uh, 5, where you get him, you know, in, in Africa, trying to still follow this guy that is the traitor, which is Albert Wesker again, mm -hmm. and then going into Resident Evil 6, I feel like Chris Redfield had an incredible development. And we're still getting Re Chris Redfield Ooh. in the future with Resident Evil 8. So we're still getting uh, Chris um, story development. I feel like he's one of the best developed characters in the horror genre overall. And not only that, but let's talk about Resident Evil 5 for a second. Let's talk about oh, that volcano yeah. volcano scene uh, with Chris Redfield just punching that boulder. He's like, you got it. He's just going off on that boulder. How does like a guy that is so scrawny looking in Resident Evil 1 go to being this buff, massive dude just punching a boulder yeah, inside weedy, of a volcano brawly, to bro. beat this out? You know, Chris Redfield, even though he had some crazy moments and everything out there, I love the character development on him. Even though Leon is my favorite character, but Chris Redfield has just so many iconic moments, and I feel like if you think about Resident Evil, you will think about that Resident Evil 5 100%. moment. Yeah. <laughs> because it was just so ridiculous, so crazy, and whatnot. What do you think, Nick? Character uh, development in, in video game characters. Who do you feel like is that one character that had such a good development overall? Over the course, of, that's that's very difficult. Because, um, <laughs> like, I don't know, I'm, I'm thinking about games that I've played in recent memory, even, or like, right. has obviously decades. Yeah, yeah, of already. course. Um, I probably over so if we're talking over the course of games, Kratos easily because mm -hmm. he went from being just a character that you played in a video game to like a founding character of PlayStation yeah. now. Yeah, it's a I, huge yeah, change. Hundred percent. Holy crap! Um, yes, you're right about that. Uh, I, I think that's probably the main one. But like a personal favorite of mine would be uh, Jack Cooper from Titanfall Two. Oh yes, just because he goes, he, he meets yes. up with BT, and then mm -hmm. you guys go through that whole. That was what that is was, one of my favorite games of all time at this point. Mm -hmm. so that cool. was a crazy story, also like mm -hmm. the, the the development and everything on him. That was wild. You know what's funny about Titanfall Two is obviously a lot of people didn't give it a, sh a, a shot yeah. because of the flop that Titanfall One had. Yeah. And you know, unfortunate to say, but Titanfall Two was a big game. Was was probably the biggest game that they have put out and everything. Uh, obviously, other than Apex Legends, yeah. But the story, story-wise, I feel like Titanfall Two had one of the best out there. Yeah, no, mean, easily. It's it's one of the best stories I played. Again, it, it obviously Apex, so it has the yeah. same controls. Mm -hmm. That's why Apex, I feel like, is so like perfect for me because mm -hmm. it takes one of my favorite FPS of all times and they mm -hmm. make it into a battle royale game, which I feel like it's just a perfect universe. Mm -hmm. And I mean, they even have uh, the villain from Titanfall Two. He was making like little uh, yeah. like posters and like sprays across the map of time, uh, Apex oh, right yeah. now. Mm -hmm. So it's it's just that's like oh, what, what a good world to tie in, right? Yeah, I, and that's what that's what I love about this is that they're doing the cross story and everything between yeah. the games and whatnot. And you're seeing so much. I mean, they brought the vault in uh, yeah. in season six now. One of, one of the best guns it, ever. It probably it, it the best gun now out, out there now, yeah, so <laughs> which good. is ridiculous. That vault so weapon good. is ridiculous, but uh, so good. And uh, I mean, he tried it and that. <laughs> Trust me, he loves it. Listen, I, I took a break from Apex for like what two seasons I, I or believe, one season? Uh, one and a half season. Yeah, and then I jumped in like a few nights ago, and I'm like, "This is a new gun. Let me try it out. It's an energy weapon. Let's see." Yeah. And I was like, "What the heck is <laughs> that?" Like, it was a straight laser, shredder, bro. bro. Straight shredder. So that good. Was so good. So good. All right. Well, now, uh, Louis, what's your, what would you say is your favorite character for like story driven uh, or character development or anything? If you can pick one. Um, we know your favorite one already, so what would be yeah. that one that you would pick? Um, you know what? I'm going to throw you a little curveball. All right. And I was thinking of this as you guys were talking. I was thinking maybe Corvo from Dishonored because this whole stuff is yeah. really nice. crazy. Yeah, that's a good yeah, one. Yeah, but good one. I'm going to go with your character from Skyrim. What? <laughs> you have the best <laughs> development right there because it's you. And you it get thrown you. off into this world. You don't know who to trust if the rebels or the Imperial Skyrim, Army. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you, you can be like, I want to be a Dragonborn. You can be like, I don't want to be. I want to mm -hmm. be a thief or a, a assassin. I you think know, that would be. What, and the, what's funny about Skyrim, it's that you literally can be whoever you want. Yeah. <laughs> it's literally. And I would have never guessed. Yeah, literally. Exactly. Really? You could have said Raid Saddle Legends and I would have. <laughs> 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 All time <laughs> favorite. Yeah. <laughs> the orc from that game, bro. He went from nothing to a level 100. Damn. Uh, he went through it. Love it. No, Love Skyrim it. definitely, I mean, to be honest with you, probably Skyrim has one of the best customization and everything of yeah, yeah, most yeah. of the RPGs out yeah. there. And the fact that you can, like, like you said, the fact that you can just choose your path and be whoever you want and play however you want and it affects the way yeah, yeah. that your, your story progresses and everything, amazing. 
I feel yeah, like, like it's one of the, the nicest. You guys. actually care about your helping. You know, maybe mm-hmm. you have to kill the dragon. Maybe you don't want to. Mm-hmm. You know, it, it's pretty cool. I like that. Um, but yeah, my other choice would be Corvo. Because if you know those games, you start as oh, yeah. a bodyguard. And then out of nowhere, you know, with the second game, you have to mm-hmm. make a big choice. And it's it's a pretty cool I, I feel like, yeah, Dishonored really brought a different style yeah. of gaming. Uh, especially story-wise and everything. Dishonored really did it. So and they did it well. They did it in a, in a good sense, yeah. so it's it's a really great game and everything. Oh, let's not forget Doom Guy. I'm sorry. Uh, Doom, yeah, guy. Doom Guy. <laughs> Doom Eternal, bro. <laughs> what what is Doom uh, Guy? Doom what is Doom, Doom, Doom Guy's bro. progression? Just go out there and shoot yeah, people. Shoot people. I That's mean, it. <laughs> does he have any lines? <laughs> At one point, he was a little forgiving to somebody, and then he killed him in the next game. Yeah, I mean, uh, <laughs> well, what can you take about progressive tendencies? What can yeah. you take from Doom? Yeah, you know, yeah, you gotta do these things. You know, yeah, yeah, it's, it's a good time. It's a good time. All right, but let, let's finalize it with uh, wh- what would you pick for your favorite? Because I, I mentioned it already, of course, that's my favorite all time. Your favorite old school character. What's mm. your favorite old school character? out there like of any character of really old co- uh, game consoles or anything like that what would you pick so before PS2 yeah uh, I, I would say PS2 included because I okay. mean it's been it's been what 20 years yeah or, or more <laughs> yeah yeah 20, 20. <laughs> damn right <laughs> oh, uh, yeah yeah ridiculous what but what, what would you what would you pay for um, uh-huh. let's 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 do Nick what would you pick for your old school game so, so, this, <laughs> so a lot of my PS2 time frame was like the Naruto games and the Dragon Ball games and uh, stuff okay. like that, like yeah. Rutenkaichi so or um, sagas, things like that. Mm-hmm. Oh, um, Kingdom Hearts Two was like a big one. Oh for me. yes, that was yes, a big game for me. I agree. Kingdom Probably, Hearts was amazing. I'm not gonna say that Kingdom Hearts, like Kingdom Hearts Two, Sora was like, mm-hmm. my all time, but he's definitely up there. Um. There. um <laughs> I probably just like if I'm gonna keep it old school, I'll probably I'll, I'll say like. Maybe Cyrax or um, Oh yeah, Mortal Zero. Kombat. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, yeah. Keeping it old school yes. like that. That might be the go-to. Because that was my first game. Character I've ever design. Played. I would say character design on Cyrax, Sub Zero, Scorpion, and all those. It's uh, oh my goodness. Every it's game beautiful. is like a. Even if it's a new iteration, if it's not, um, they just look. Yeah, fantastic. no, they look incredible. Yeah. Uh, like how they how they look, how they how they interact, and everything. Beautiful. I feel like they have one of the best character designs yeah. out there. Definitely. Now, what what would you pick for old school, old school, old school character? Old school. Yeah, your old school character. Like, if you had to pick one, what would you say? Honestly, I would say Jack from Jack and Dexter, oh, especially Jack, um, yeah. Jack. Good game. Jack bro. Bro. Yeah. So yeah. good. I love that yeah, game bro. so much. Jack from Jack when and Dexter. When they go like night and dark, night, yes. night and dark mode. Yes. Oh. Jack and Daxter, oh my goodness. Such a beautiful game. I miss game. it. It was Such like, it had this GTA game. vibe for no reason, bro. <laughs> yeah. It had a GTA vibe and like, you, you had the like little pets. skateboard. Yeah, yes. literally. <laughs> it was literally. so good. Talking I about really GTA know. vibes, like, uh, do you guys remember like Dead to Rights and everything? Yeah. Back? Bro. With the, that was the one with the dog. Like, that was the one with the dog, bro. Uh-huh. It's called Retribution, I think. Uh, there were two. Yeah. There were, yeah. I think there were two. I think there's more. I don't know, but Dead to Rights overall, like the one with the dog, bro, like, that was amazing. The fact that you actually had a dog with you. It was such a cool mechanic. It, it was. It really was. That was that was a really yeah. fun game. There was another game that I don't remember the, the name of it, but it also had a GTA vibe, but it wasn't GTA. Not Saints Row either. It wasn't Saints Row, no. So um the getaway? No, no, no. It was literally Driver? just like it was literally just like no. It was literally just like Grand Theft Auto, but it wasn't Grand Theft Auto. I, I, I don't remember. Anyways, if I remember, I'll put it down yeah. in the link. But uh, I'll, I'll, we'll see. We'll see about that. But that was a, a really great uh, game overall. But, I mean, old school game, I, I have so many. I have Mario, of course, as my all-time favorite. Yeah. Sonic the Hedgehog up there. Uh, Leon, uh, Scott Kennedy from Resident Evil. Chris Redfield from Resident Evil. Um, Snake from the, you know, from the first... Um, Metal Gears. There's so many characters out there for the old school game. You know, really are. Um, of course, I would also pick like character mechanic design and everything. Just so I, I don't repeat any of the ones that I've said. I would say uh, Ken and Ryu from Street Fighter. Ooh. Ken and Ryu from Street Fighter. Akuma. Beautiful, oh, yeah. beautiful characters. Amazing design for back then. Street Fighter One yes. and Two. Uh, just just a beautiful game overall. Like 
getting into the arcade and, and getting into like so that, that fighting game and all yeah. that stuff. Yeah. The characters overall, I mean, Ryo and Ken were my favorite designs and all that stuff, but all the characters were great. Yes. All the characters were beautifully made. I mean, Vega was such a, a great style of, of a, of a everybody character. Loved yeah, everybody, everybody loved Vega. Yeah, everybody loved them. Everybody guy. loved Vega. Um, and Bison, of and course. Bison. What a monster. Yeah. Sagat. 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 Sagat was such a beautiful, beautifully made character and everything overall. So I, I would say like those those characters from Street Fighter, yeah. I feel like those would be my old school. You know what? Let me switch my answer. <laughs> my favorite character is Dan from Street oh, Fighter. Oh my you god, say that. bro! It's funny you no, say that. let's not mention Dan. <laughs> Wait, no. So I, I found out that Dan's master is the one that knocked out Sagat's eye. Oh really? Yeah. No. You see, Dan is a man, bro. <laughs> yeah. He's my favorite character to play as too, in Street Fighter. I'm a hor- hardcore Street Fighter player. I, I'm um, not. But, bro, bro, with Dan, it. it's so good. He's such yeah. a troll character. And he if you're is. Good with he him, really is a troll character. If you're character. good with him, bro, you you'll beat some people That's up. That's ridiculous. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, <laughs> yeah. What a, what a what a pick. Wild card. I feel like yeah, <laughs> definitely wild card exactly. <laughs> But anyways, that that's pretty much it for us uh, today. Thank you for joining us in this episode. I will say thank you, Louis, for uh, joining us in the episode. Just make sure that you go check him out on Twitch. We will leave his Twitch down below so you guys can see it. Definitely check out those uh, crazy gameplays that he has. You yeah. will laugh for a little while. It is a, it is a really great time and everything. Yeah, yeah for sure. Remember, Chef Mike Lovin with a U. Uh, we'll post it down below so you guys can see it. But yeah, that would be everything yeah, for us. Another Let's Talk Game in the books. Yeah. Uh, besides right. that, if you guys have any more questions, if you want to see anything in particular, always check the description box. Everything's going to be sure. in there listed for you guys. Uh, his information and anything that we talked about, some of the games, if you guys want to see any of the characters, mm-hmm. that's all there. Merchandise, too. Yes, merchandise link as well. Um, the shirts are very pretty and they feel very good, even with like the bright, vibrant colors that look like it may draw yeah. that out. Nope. It doesn't happen. Trust really me, good. I have it. Yeah, I um, but until then, guys, take care. Pat Joystick. All right, see ya.